Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer. I wanted to take a minute and talk about something that, in my opinion, is pretty significant. Just a few days ago, Discord released their chat and VoIP client for Linux. Previous to this release, only a Canary build of the client was available, and it wasn't featured on their website. If you're not familiar with Discord, it's a snazzy text and voice chat client geared towards gamers, and has exploded in popularity recently. There are a ton of Linux-related Discord servers, too. Our Linux Gaming has one, GamingOnLinux.com has one, there's also EG.io, and finally there's one for this channel. If you guys are interested in joining the Linux Gamer Discord server, go ahead and click the link in the description. And while you're at it, try out the new Linux build of the Discord app. But I said I thought this was important. Why did I say that? Because Discord is extremely popular among gamers, and there's a big shiny button on their site advertising the Linux release of this app geared toward gamers. I feel like there's a certain amount of validation that comes with the release of Discord, and though as a community I don't think we need such validation, there's a certain segment of the PC gaming population that thinks Windows is the only real way to be a PC gamer. The availability of a gamer's software of choice, be it the games we play or the apps we use, makes the transition from Windows to Linux that much easier, and I believe having it finally available through their website right next to the Mac and Windows builds makes all the difference. But what do you think? Am I looking at this all wrong? Are there better apps out there for voice and text chat that I don't know about? Let me know in the comments or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You can also support the work that I do over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.